Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I gotta check out the new beta update for the Tonex. So right now I'm using Tonex in my DAW, which is Logic behind the screen. And there's a couple of great new features that really change the game when it comes to Tonex. This applies to the Tonex standalone, the Tonex pedal and the Tonex mini pedal as well. So to start off, I just pick some amps that I really like, in this case are the Joe Satriani Amp Vault, really great amps, great tones, great captures, and we have something that we've been waiting for, and there'll be more news, great news in the future, this is not yet available to the public, it will be soon, but more stuff will be included that you guys are gonna love. We have here on the top, as you can see, a new layout, you have a compressor here, as you had usually, now you have modulation, so effects on the tone axe. Finally, you have in modulation you have chorus, tremolo, phaser, flanger, and rotary. In delay, you have normal delay and ping pong delay, and then digital and tape in this drop down menu. Reverb, we have room, spring one, spring two, three, four, and plate. And then you have the typical advanced EQ, so you can tailor your tone the way you really like it. So I'm going to just put this in. Start with the reverb. And this is the lead I Gain Marshall 30th anniversary from Joe Satriani. It sounds like this. So let's start with our, with our reverb and let's put it in room just the way it is. Just need to increase our mix here. Let's put it off so we can hear it. Okay, this is our room. We have kind of a spring reverb here as well. The mix knob still goes to zero maybe because this is a better version. But it sounds great. You have time, pre-delay, color and mix for your controls. Spring 2, once again, went down to... All right, let's check out. All right, now let's go for the spring 3 reverb. Put it halfway. Much darker, so different kinds of spring reverbs you have here. This one. That will sound great in more vintage tones. Now this is our room. If I increase my pre-delay, you can have that kind of delay before the reverb and, and kind of emulate Van Halen in this case. It sounds great. Now let's go for our plate reverb because this one will be much bigger. Right? Now, just for the sake of it, let's put the color all the way up. We got a very, very bright reverb, totally counterclockwise. It becomes dark. So, I'm going to try to dial here some, something that I really like. Let me just increase the time. Too much time, probably. Depends on what you're doing. Max out the time. Okay, and I'm recording stereo because this is the stereo part. So, like this. Now, if you increase the mix and the time. Okay, very cool. Let's put it like this. Maybe less. Okay, now disengage it and let's go to our delay. So normal delay sounds like this on digital. There's pre and post, so you can put it in pre. And that's not what we want right now. All right, so we have feedback, mix and time. Now let's put our time around here and put it in ping pong. This is really great. I love, I love this part. Increase our time around 600 milliseconds. Now, if we choose a tape delay, it still has a very dark color to it, but it's still... No, let me choose ping pong again. Wow. 
And if you want to do like some weird stuff like last delay, you gotta play in, in the intervals, you know? But for this, it's better to put it digital so you can hear better the tones. So you decrease your time around there. The feedback is like this. Can't be so much feedback has to be a little bit louder. You can have like those cascade delays that are really you have to sync the tempo. But it sounds really cool. So let's put it digital and the feedback around there, the time way up. And now engage our reverb. That's pretty much it. You don't need any more effects here. Okay, now let's try something, this is more gain even. Something more of a clean tone. Let's try this one, this is also drive. Okay, let's try some, something clean. Cool, now let's disengage this for a while and just go to our modulation effects and let's start with the chorus the way it is. Sounds really cool. So we have chorus, you can increase the level, the depth, and also the rate. I'm really into Alice in Chains right now, making a lot of patches for Alice in Chains on the Boss Katana MK2. So it's a thing. Tremolo. Oh, the spread thing is right. Let's add a little bit of reverb here. Sounds great. Turn off the reverb, let's go to our next effect, we have a phaser. Once again, pre or post, so you can put it here at the front. For some situations it will be more than ideal. Now if you get some distortion into this... More even more drive, I gain. It's going like panning. This is really great. Let's go to our clean again. Where is it? Probably this one. And now we have also flanger. Now with I gain, let's go to our I gain here. And then can you increase the gain here, of course, the input knob. 
And probably it should be there because it's the way you gain stage this plugin. But anyways, I just want to show you the tones. So, and finally we have a rotary. Let's see how it sounds. Now we have high gain. It's kind of cool. Yeah, very cool sounding uh, rotary. And then you have radius. Really spreads out the signal as well and spread. So it's really cool to get some, some of those organ tones. Where is my clean platform? Okay. More speed. Now you have your delay and your reverb. You can get some crazy wild tones out here. Then don't forget you also have the advanced parameters if you want to further shape your mix as well pre, pre and post. Let's put all these effects with more gain so see what happens. Okay, let's turn on our modulation for now or just change it to a, a chorus, subtle, subtle chorus probably. Okay, less bass. Let's increase here, top out this and increase our noise gate. So guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Amazing tones. This is a great thing to come to Tonex finally. We have dedicated effects and in the future we'll have more, even more cool stuff inside our GUI interface. So stay tuned for more. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so yet and stay tuned for more. Till the next one. Cheers.